I'm Rain Alexander. I'm the Operations and Development Manager of the Maryland Film Festival, and I do a lot of performance around town. I've got a band called the Degenerates. I've worked with the Charm City Kitty Club and the Maryland Film Festival and uh, the Transmodern Festival and a number mm -hmm. of things around town. So yeah, um, a lot of the people that I knew in college, you know, in my early transition were really instrumental in making it, you know, possible and making it okay for me to transition. Um, you know, I definitely wouldn't have done that. Uh, you know, I didn't really feel that I had the family support and, uh, you know, so yeah, it was definitely that, that group of friends, you know, kind of my, my chosen group that really allowed that to be, um, be possible. was raised in a very religious family um, and uh, you know it became kind of a, uh, a you know a point of contention that you know um, we didn't really find an easy way around and um, you know uh, while my parents were still alive it was something that we um, we talked about that we kind of got to a, a understanding but it never really got to the point of you know clarity you know You know, I'm pretty much out about, you know, who I am, you know, yeah. and uh, so uh, whether it's employers or whether it's just like average people, um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm very open about it. And, um, you know, uh, so that said, like, it's, it's, it's one of those things that I, for a long time, I was very afraid to be out about. And, you know, I, I was worried, like, oh, is this going to affect my employability and that kind mm -hmm. of a thing. And, you know, I mean, if, if, Part of the question is, have I been, not, been denied employment because of uh, a trans identity? Probably. Is there a way for me to definitively say so? No. <laughs> um, but I also know that, um, you know, being kind of fearful and um, uh, closeted about it, um, you know, uh, creates an environment where uh, that kind of information can be used against me. You know, mm -hmm. and could be used against me if I wanted it to be. Um, but if I'm forthright about it, if I'm open about it, and I'm clear about it, mm -hmm. um, that may prevent me from getting involved with certain organizations, but then again, you know, maybe I don't want to be involved with the kind of organizations that would hold that against me either. Um. So, you know, it's kind of a mutually beneficial kind of a situation, <laughs> ultimately. Um, So yeah, I mean, I've I've definitely thought about uh, uh, thought about surgery, and I think that it's uh, you know one of those one of those uh, it's an interesting issue. I mean, it's it's something that um, a lot of people, myself included, have been um, uh, more or less denied because we can't afford it. Um. You know, um, and. Uh, you know, it definitely brings up a lot of um, a lot of issues around healthcare and access to healthcare. And uh, you know, so whenever this kind of question comes up, I immediately go to this you know to this place of, of really looking at the way that our own like you know our, our American healthcare system is. And you know, ultimately. Um, questions of surgical intervention and things like that are mm -hmm. uh, questions which are more easily answered by the privileged and less so by the underprivileged. Um, and, uh, you know, so when I think about surgery, I think about that, you know, and mm -hmm. I think that uh, it should be, um, you know, it, it should be accessed by every, you know, everybody should be able to access it, you know, if, if, yeah. they, if they need it. Well, I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of anxiety and fear that's wrapped up in it, and you know, a lot of reactions and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's always been interesting to me that um, just by being a person who doesn't have a very uh, uh, clearly defined gender, like if you're not 100% one thing or another and you're walking around in the street, you get a lot of attention. You know, and uh, you know, I, I think a lot of times. I mean, there's there's people's in the, people's curiosity that's 
embedded in that. But I also feel that the more important um, issues are that people have a lot of fear and anxiety. And if we can dispel those fears and those anxieties, mm -hmm. um, that kind of thing becomes less threatening. Mm 